Ni zaidi ya wiki mbili sasa tangu mfanyabiashara maarufu nchini Zimbabwe Genius Kadungure maarufu kama Jinimbi kufariki dunia kwa ajali mbaya kabisa ya gari aina ya Rolls Royce ambapo watu wengine watatu walipoteza maisha katika ajali hiyo. Hii ni story ambayo iliteka vichwa vya habari Afrika nzima kutokana na umaarufu wa Jinimbi aliyokuwa nao na vitu kama hivyo. Ana ex wake mkewe wake wa zamani ambaye amekaa naye kwa miaka kumi pamoja. Anaitwa Zodwa Mkandla ambaye ni rafiki yake mkubwa sana na Zari the Boss Lady. Zodwa alikuwa hajasema chochote kuhusiana na kufariki kwa Jinimbi na vitu kama hivyo. Kwa mara ya kwanza siku ya jana Novemba 26, Zodwa alizungumza, alizungumza na mtangazaji anaitwa Josi Mahachie kuhusiana na mambo mengi sana kuhusiana na kifo cha Jinimbi lakini pia uhusiano wao na vitu kama hivyo. Kwa hiyo katika interview hiyo Zodwa amezungumza vitu vingi sana exclusive ambavyo vilikuwa vikizungumzwa kuhusiana na kifo cha Jinimbi. Miongoni mwa kile ambacho amekisema kilichokuwa kinazungumzwa sana Zimbabwe lakini na Afrika nzima. Ni tetesi kwamba utajiri wa Jinimbi ulikuwa wa mashaka na ulikuwa unatumia dawa ndumba na walikuwa nazusha kwamba Jinimbi alikuwa na joka kubwa sana ambalo analifuga ndani. Hili joka linatapika dola, linatapika fedha na hizo ndizo ambazo zilimpa utajiri. Sasa ameulizwa kuhusiana na hili swali na hivi ndivyo ambavyo alijibu swali hilo. I wish I really wish that was true. I need you to tell me where I really was. wish I, I really it. wish like right now I really wish he had that snake because I will inherit it it would vomit that money for me but I lived I mean look if a snake can vomit money Josie it means I must not put as much work as I'm putting now because I've got easy money that just come a snake could just vomit I just pick the money I go and buy a belu a, a lupiton I buy an LV shoe I buy Gucci I buy whatever I want because there is easy money But genius was a hard worker. That boy did not sleep. He worked throughout. Genius would go to Zambia to go and buy gas. He would go to Congo to look for new business ventures. He, he went everywhere. He would go to Mozambique. He went everywhere. As far as I knew him, Genius would leave me. He lived between Zimbabwe and South Africa. I would go to South Africa. I never saw anything I miss in his house. Anything that showed that Genius had a snake. I never I mean if he had a snake it meant I knew about the snake because if he then went to South Africa and left me in Zimbabwe for a month I needed to feed the snake otherwise the snake would feed on me so I never came across that snake if ever it was there <laughs> even if I went to South Africa I never saw the snake so I don't know where these people and the problem with us Africans an African person can never be wealthy because of hard work you have to have had juju or something that makes you rich Yet if you, if genius was white I don't think anyone would be talking about juju or snakes or anything he was just a hard worker who enjoyed his life who enjoyed his money who enjoyed his fun that was genius for you snakes i don't know nothing about them there's so many snakes in zimbabwe those that say he had a snake that vomited go and get your own snake and make it vomit money for you and see if you'll be able to get the money that is coming out of a python and use that money. I don't think anyone can stand a snake. No matter how small or how big, no one can stand a snake. People will run away from snake. Let alone stay with a snake in the house. How can one stay with a snake in the house? It's not possible. The guy was just a hard worker. That's all he was. He was not perfect, but he was a hard worker. And no one is perfect anyway. Jambo jingine ambalo lilikuwa linazungumzwa sana ambalo mpaka sasa hivi bado lilikuwa linazungumzwa ni kwamba Jinimbi alikuwa na nyumba kubwa sana kifahari mansion ambayo ipo katika kijiji alichozaliwa kinaitwa Dombo Shava karibu kidogo na mji mkuu wa Zimbabwe Harare baada ya kuwa amefariki kuna stories ikawa zinasema kwamba wish yake ye ilikuwa ni kwamba hiyo nyumba igeuze kuwa hoteli kwa sababu ni jumba la kifahari waigeuze iwe hoteli na itumike kama resort kukawa pia kuna maneno kwamba hiyo nyumba ataichukua zodu wa mkandla kwa sababu ni nyumba yake wamejenga pamoja ukweli ni upi tageuza kuwa resort ama itakuwa ni nyumba ambayo zodu ataichukua 
Sasa hili ni swali ambalo pia amelifafanua vizuri kabisa Zodwa. Okay and now let's talk about the estate genius estate. We saw that um and I am not to, let let's correct one thing. It's been all over social media that Zodwa is claiming his estate, he wants to take the house, he wants to do this. That's why we want we have this platform to clear all these issues. I do not want to take genius house as much as the house is mine. I lived with that guy for 10 years and you know by the rules of Zimbabwe if you live with a man for 6 months automatically married or not married you become married so whatever you acquire together you are supposed to share 50 50 genius we built that house together from scratch the first brick we put it in together at that time genius was staying with me in my highlands house when we built in that house we built it from day 1 until it was finished i don't want anything to do the, to do with the house Yes, genius last wish he wanted that house to be um attend into a hotel. I support that 100%. I'm going to make sure that comes to pass. I'm going to assist the family to make sure that that hotel is a success and we advertise we market it. I run a travel agency. So through Travel Travel we are going to make sure that we market the Dombosha mansion to become the hotel that genius uh, wanted it to be. I'm not claiming anything there. I don't want anything to do with Genius House as much as I'm 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 a part owner but I don't want anything to I've got my own properties I've got my own house which is equally as big as the Dombosha mansion which Genius himself built he helped me build my house so I've got no reason to want to get his house when he's dead when I could have gotten it when he was alive Katika interview hiyo amezungumza vitu vingi sana miongoni mwa swali lililoulizwa ni ukaribu alionao na Dazari the boss lady pamoja na Diamond Platinums wana uhusiano gani kitu gani ambacho kinaunganisha sasa hilo ni swali pia ambalo aliulizwa na akalijibu hivi Okay what is your relationship like with uh, Zari and um, um Diamond Platinum Zari Zari is a very good friend of mine she's based in South Africa with Diamond Platinum I'm the godmother to Zari and Diamond's children I met Zari way before she met um before she dated Diamond Platinum when she was still married to Ivan who then passed away and then uh, but I think they divorced when she met Diamond and uh, they started dating and then uh, Tifa came along then Prince Nilan came along so we have a very good relationship with both of them both uh, Diamond and uh, and Zari they are their family kwa hiyo interview hii ya Zodwa Mkandla imejibu maswali mengi sana ambayo watu wengi walikuwa wafahamu. Kazungumza vitu vingi by the way, nime, hapa nimesema tu uh, kwa ufupi, kaelezea vile vile kuhusiana na ukaribu na babake mzazi uh, ilikuwa inasemekana kwamba hakuwa na ukaribu kabisa na babake na babake alikuwa anaishi maisha ya kimaskini licha ya mwanae kuwa tajiri. Sasa Zodwa amesema kwamba haikuwa hivyo, alikuwa na ukaribu na babake na alikuwa anamsaidia lakini alikuwa na namna tofauti kidogo isiyozoeleka ya kusupport familia yake na akasema kwamba kwake ginimbi marafiki zake ndio walikuwa ni watu wa muhimu zaidi kwake ndugu sawa alikuwa nao karibu lakini huwezi linganisha na namna ambavyo alikuwa karibu na marafiki zake kwa hiyo marafiki walikuwa na umuhimu mkubwa zaidi kwake hilo ni jambo jingine ambalo ameeleza lakini pia ameeleza namna ambavyo eh, ginimbi alikuwa Uh, na uhusiano na wanawake wengi alikuwa ni mtu wa hivyo mtu wa wasiana wengi na wengi uh, walikuwa na jigonga kwa sababu ya maisha aliyokuwa nayo hakuwa anawapa ile heshima kama ambayo Zodo alimpa ambaye alikaa naye kwa miaka kumi kama nataka kuitazama interview yote ipo kwenye page ya Instagram ya Zodwa unaweza kwenda kuitazama lakini sofa nadhani kwa hivyo vitu muhimu utakuwa umeelewa vizuri kabisa kile alichokizungumza subscribe ili kupata taarifa nyingi zaidi